a 3D printing market that's expected to triple in value by 2027? Yes, uh, 3D printing is an industry 4.0 technology that will give us factories of the future. Uh, today, I'll take a few minutes to show you one market that's set to be transformed by this innovation. Plus, Dan Shiflett, a junior investment analyst and key support analyst working closely with Paul on several bull profits trading services, will be joining me to preview his upcoming uh, Bold Profits Daily article publishing this Thursday, October 28th, that sheds light on another big opportunity in 3D printing. So please stay tuned. Hello to everyone. Hello, Bold Profits Nation. So welcome to Market Talk Monday on the Paul Manpilla YouTube channel. I'm Amber Lancaster. Uh, thank you for tuning in this week. Uh, before we begin and get started, please remember to click or as they say, smash that subscribe button for this channel. Give us a thumbs up if if you like the content and of course you can visit us at bullprofitsdaily.com to sign up for our free investment e-letter so let's get started so as a longtime gearhead car fan, I'm always monitoring the auto industry for new innovations. And one technology, 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing, is actually not new to the automotive market, no. Um, automakers like Volkswagen have actually been using a 3D printing technology to manufacture plastic and metal components for prototyping cars and car spare port parts for, I would say, over 25 five years. But in present day, uh, per market research future, 3D printing technology, quote, has gained significant prominence in the automotive sector, helping to create several lightweight components and body parts. And actually, many vehicles and manufacturers such as General Motors, Honda, and others have released several 3D printed cars. So these factors actually boost the value of 3D printing in the automotive market, end quote. So this means that 3D printing technology is progressing. It's not just being used for prototypes, but will actually be part of the car production process for our use, consumers' use. So for example, over the summer, um, this just this past summer, Volkswagen announced it will use binder jet 3D printing techniques to manufacture components for its cars. And Volkswagen has made history by becoming the first automaker to use 3D printing technology for the automotive production process and it's just the beginning. Porsche announced new 3D printed body form car seats for its cars that aim to increase a driver and passenger comfort and give them options. Uh, the body form seats are now available from the Porsche Performance Parts Catalog for certain Boxsters, uh, Caymans, 911 builds up to November 2020. And in February 2022, the custom 3D printed seats will be available as standard equipment and add it to the Porsche configurator. Also, NTU Singapore and Hyundai Motor Group, well, they entered into an agreement recently to, quote, tap AI, artificial intelligence, and 3D printing for electric vehicle manufacturing, uh, focusing on Industry 4.0, Fourth Industrial Revolution Technologies. Uh, these projects actually aim to develop solutions that can transform conventional car manufacturing facilities into state-of-the-art factories of the future. Uh, four pilot projects uh, on artificial intelligence and additive 3D printing will actually be explored with the Hyundai deal. End quote. So to put the potential explosive growth in 3D printing automotive uh, tech in perspective, um, per market research futures, the global 3D printing automotive market is expected to triple in size by 2027, reaching $4.89 billion, uh, growing at a compound annual growth rate of 28.72%. So to be part of this market growth, uh, you want to consider adding uh, the ETF uh, ticker PRNT to 3D printing ETF to your stock portfolio. And moreover, you can just check out Paul Manpilly's Profits Unlimited monthly stock research service to get his latest 3D printing stock recommendations. You can find out more by clicking the strong hands icon right over my shoulder to learn more. And as promised, uh, joining me now is Dan Shiflett to give us an exclusive preview of his upcoming Bold Profits Daily article that will also give the latest insights on the 3D printing market, but from a very uh, Bold Profits perspective. 
So hello, D, and thank you for joining me today on Market Talk. Good to see you. Thank you, Amy, for having me. Good to see you, too. Oh, thank you, Dan. So I know that you're writing a very special upcoming Bull Profits Daily article. So please just give us a, a preview, a sneak peek of what you plan to share with us on Thursday. Sure. Yeah. Um, so my article is on 3D printing and space. Mm. Um, these are two mega trends that we have been very bullish on for quite a while. Um, we have seen 3D printing. Um, we've talked about it in housing, um, in the medical field. Um, so this article just kind of touches on how it will be implemented in the space industry. Okay. Um, and I think that kind of overlap between 3D printing and space would just really help propel both of these mega trends, which will be great to see in our portfolios. Um, so yeah, we've seen um, you know space give us a lot of technological advantages. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that would just kind of play hand in hand with 3D printing. Um, and 3D printing has done a lot for space in terms of um, you know, Elon Musk, um, he uses it for SpaceX. Um, we've seen him 3D print um, engines. Um, there's going to be a lot of 3D printed um, um, rockets and modules, satellites, all sorts of parts um, in the space industry. Um, so that's going to be really cool to see. Um, and I talk about um, how these two um, really will just kind of um, propel the market forward. Um, and how you can uh, take advantage of both of these sectors um, in the article and how you can, what you can invest in um, and how to make, how to make your portfolio grow. I think that's just exciting to um, hear as a preview, Dan. I can tell you everyone, 3D printing is truly transforming how we do things from the roadway to the outer space. I mean, come on, 3D printing is truly one industry that should be part of our portfolio. So Dan, thank you for stopping by and previewing the article for us. We look forward to reading it on Thursday. Awesome, thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you to everyone again for joining us at Market Talk on Monday this week. We wish you a wonderful week ahead and until next time, take care.